Yo, I'm Slip V. I figured I'd do something a little different with one of these list type videos. These things are usually pretty fast paced, so we'll get right into it, I guess. So, Slay the Spire is absolutely fucking packed with dank memes and epic references. I take the piss, but I actually really appreciate the effort that Megacrit have put into adding smaller details, so we'll We'll get into them now. We'll start off the silent. Something that's interesting to me is that all the fighting cards that they have, like heel hook, flying knee, and even footwork to an extent, show images of actual martial arts, and they very closely match. It just shows the attention to detail this game has got. I shouldn't really. even have to tell you what bullet time is referencing, but I will, because I'm nice. It's obviously a reference to this scene in The Matrix, where Neo stops time. Not really much more to say on that one. It's cool though. Another pretty obvious one, the rare card Die 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 is a reference to Reaper's ultimate ability in the popular video game Overwatch, where he deals a massive AoE of damage, just spins away, shit tons of damage, all that stuff. Even flavor-wise this card matches up since it deals a massive 13 or even 17 damage to all enemies. Onto the Ironclad where we start off with a reference to King Arthur and the Sword and the Stone. With Infernal Blade being set in a stone and the attack costing 0 when you're given it, it's almost like you have been blessed by the sword Excalibur. Like King Arthur. Might be a bit of a stretch but hey. Who Speaking knows? of references being a bit of a stretch, this is a pretty loose one, but I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I can't help but imagine several URAs when I use the card Pummel. Repeatedly doing a massive amount of damage if you have a lot of strength gives me a massive Jotaro vibe. The card Spot Weakness could either be a reference to the bat system from Fallout or the targeting system in turn-based tactical shooters such as XCOM. Besides that, the card is a really great pickup in strength decks because you can just keep ramping that shit up and Limit it's Break is very obviously a reference to the incredibly popular series Final Fantasy. Limit Break moves are the most powerful moves at your disposal in Final Fantasy, so flavor-wise, doubling your strength is a pretty good well, idea. The defect is a robot. As a result, a lot of his cards are references to programming and coding. Hello World is the universal basic code programmers use to test programs they've written. Stack is a way of storing and doing operations on data. It's pretty abstract, so fucked if I know if my explanation's correct. Recursion is when a function calls itself, which is pretty much what the orbs are doing when they evoke and come back. Obviously I had to be even more of a degenerate and fill this list with more anime. All for One, which is a card that's really useful for the zero cost archetype of the defect, could be a reference by name to the anime My Hero Academia. He's the big bad guy and I can't think of another reason other than it just genuinely being used as the popular phrase All for One. Who's, who knows, maybe I'll ask and about And finally it. Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is a massively powerful move in Pokemon. It does a hell of a lot of damage, but with a pretty hefty penalty of stunning your Pokemon the turn after it's used. As the defect, when you Hyper Beam, you lose 3 focus, which isn't quite enough to link the move to Pokemon. However, the second floor boss, the Bronze Automaton, actually has a Hyper Beam attack that stuns him after use. But hey, maybe we'll move on to talking about bosses and enemies in another video.